Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Tuesday the 25th of October. The local media headlines today and it is over, at least for now. We've had pretty much a permanent Tory party leadership contest since July and as a result three prime ministers in two months. So what happens next? Well, quite possibly a general election. But first, the new Prime Minister has a new cabinet to appoint. This will also have implications for local government, as will next week's budget. There are two, possibly three MPs from Cornwall who will be keen to see who keeps or gets a foot on the ministerial career ladder. Less controversially, Truro College is hoping to stimulate interest among women and girls in having a career in space. And Cornwall's planners have postponed a decision about whether to put shelter pods for the homeless on a car park in Penryn. The St Ives Times and Echo came out on Friday and led with another planning story, this one about whether a barn could be described as part of an ancient hamlet. Neighbours and local councillors support the idea of converting it to a home, but County Hall is worried about the impact on the area of outstanding natural beauty. The BBC reported the start of a ballot process which could see ambulance crews going on strike. Pirate FM covered the construction of 15 council houses in Callington. The Falmouth Packet says Father Christmas is getting ready to meet people at Truro Cathedral. And finally, Cornwall Live says the weather could have been worse. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.